Welcome back guys, it's Patrick, we're here on the search of the Templar's treasure, episode 87, and we've been here quite a while, we've got a couple bacon strips, great, um, last episode we fought uh, eight ender dragons, which was kind of scary, that was right outside the greenhouse, and we've made our way through the the massive mountains and we found this there appears to be a giant squid monster in the background I don't quite want to fight him but there's a nicely lit stairway up to uh, what appears to be a house with red and white banners so we may have found the Templar's treasure uh, let's make our way up to that now alright uh, oh I hate water like that okay uh, yeah, it looks to be. Alright. So, uh, last episode we found Thor's hammer, which was quite nice. Alright, red and white banners. Uh, remember, every detail counts in these. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 banners in total, 5 of each. Alright. House of the Templar Treasure. Red windows, that means this must be a red house. Uh, it's a very nicely designed house, I like it. Alright, let's, let's close the door. Alright, um, well this is different. Uh, kitchen Master 5000, that's a nice kitchen set they got going on. I like the ceiling. Very nice, you got some sea lanterns. Uh, that kind of resembles a key, so I bet it's over here. Um, blue and yellow, blue and yellow, blue and yellow, green. Uh, four banners, four houses. Okay, we did orange, blue, yellow, then green. Houses. Item frame, button. That's... All right, button doesn't appear to do anything. Um, all these items are facing different directions, so I'm thinking uh, maybe we have to go back to those houses. But I destroyed the blue house completely. There's nothing there. Um, huh. I have an idea. Let's try this. We had a piss. All right, that's what we got to do. That we got to put in a combination. Uh, okay, maybe not. Let's try the next one. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's the last input. Expecting something to happen here. Oh, oh, we got something in the kitchen. All right, looking promising. We got some five nights signed the Templar's treasure. All right, I like the sound of this. These guys are looking kind of creepy. I'm expecting this to be booby trapped or something like the last ones. All right. Oh, this time we have items in here. All right, a diamond and a book called the Templars. All right, let's give her a read. Joke's on you. We were poor. Bah ha ha ha. Well. That appears to have been a waste of 87 episodes, wouldn't you guys say? Uh, let's load. Okay, mode one, that should be it. Alright, there we go, okay. Alright guys, so that was my introduction to this machine right here. It's a combination lock. This is actually an unfinished version. It just suited the needs 
I hand built this entire thing just to uh, show this off. By the way, I'm back. My name is Patrick McLeod. And yeah, so if you guys like this introduction to this redstone device, I'm now going to go on to a tutorial. But if you liked it, please feel free to like and subscribe and support me and whatnot. It's always much appreciated, so let's fix this wall. Alright, let's get on with the tutorial now. Um, you're going to need the, all of the items you see in my hotbar. Uh, quite a few of most of them, not as many as some others. I'm going to color code this entire thing. And let's begin. First, I'm going to build a 3x3 three three wall here. And you don't actually need a 3x3. Three three. I just like 3x3, three because three, so it works nicely for me. And you're going to place a... Uh, item frame with an item inside of it. It doesn't really matter what item, but I find torches work the nicest Then you're gonna build a single block go out one two three four blocks and go out uh, one right here go out one and Basically make this pattern right here place a block here and then go out one two three four place another block go out another four like this Make another system, and another right here. And once you have four of those, we will move on. Um, now you don't have to have four. You can have uh, you could have one. You could have two. You could have three. You could have four. You could have eighty-seven. If you can fit it inside your loaded chunks, you can have as many as you want, and that's the beauty of this system. All right, now let's go comparator, turn to positive, another, another, and one facing this way, and another facing this way. Now let's go back to the line and go another, 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 one more, one more, one more, another, and make sure every one of those is positive. Next, place one facing this direction, one facing this direction, and one going into the positive comparator. Now that we have all of those, we're going to take our repeaters and go one, two, three, four. All of them going straight into the comparator, which is our output comparator. We're going to place a hopper, another hopper or dropper I mean another and another then shift click hopper on top of each one of these uh, make sure the droppers are facing upwards now we can get rid of our hoppers and our droppers and our item frames because we won't need those now we're gonna grab an orange wool a blue a purple wool and a blue wool also since I'm trying to get ahead of myself apparently Let's place our redstone dust on the remaining spots on each one of these systems. Next, place a blue wool on each one of these. Doesn't have to be blue, can be any color. Just place a block to be built on right there. And then place two orange for right here on each one of these. And then place two torches on top of each one of those and place two blocks on top of each one of those and now that we have that done redstone on top of each of these good good one here 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 and here that's in the middle of each of these systems and what we just built is called an and gate now we're going to shift click onto this comparator. Make sure you shift click to place the block, otherwise you're just going to turn that to a positive. We're going to go one out, two up, one to the side, and one towards us. And place a torch, another torch, another redstone, and three more on top, and another torch on the other side. And now let's do that for all the other ones very quickly.
And what we have just built are called RS NOR latches. They're basically uh, memory type systems. And we're going to be using those to basically keep track of which ones are active and which ones are not, as well as expanding the system. I like to use yellow for this next part. I've used it every time. We're going to place a block right here on the RS NOR latch above that torch another block like that and then two more like that and remove that block right there place a torch two redstone dust on top shift click on the two last comparators and do two redstone then break this block right here place a yellow wool and put a piston on top you don't actually have to break the wool you just gotta break one of them really and now we're going to do that for each one of these. Uh, we'll do the final one after, as it's going to be slightly different. All right, let's place our redstone and then our torches. All right, now that we have all of that part done, let's grab some green wool for right here. And we're gonna do the same thing, but I'm using green wool to identify this as our final output. Next, we're going to re-grab our blue wool because we're gonna need it again. And we're gonna place a blue wool right here. And then three with one on top right there and one right there next we're going to need to grab a button you can use a wooden button or a stone button the choice is yours place one redstone and two repeaters and one more repeater right there place one block there and like that do the same thing on each one of the and gates The final one does not actually need it. Then we're gonna place a torch here, here, and here. On the other side, on the blue block, here, here, and here. Then take your repeater, one, and then four ticks, one, four ticks, one, and four ticks on the final one as well. Now that we have those in place, let's grab yet another building block. Let's use dark blue this time and place a block right here. Go down one and around the corner, just like that. Then we're going to place one right here and go like that. And you can bring it down on each one of these just like this. Oh, totally messed up that one and one last one like that. Next, take the blue and bring it around and you're basically going to be making a snake route right around each of these into a block. Now take a repeater right here, a repeater facing the opposite direction and one facing into this block and one facing the opposite direction again. Next, take a repeater, put it into this one, into that one, and into that one, and on the last one, into that one. Fill the remaining blocks with redstone. And now we've built most of our reset line got to fill in redstone dust right here. Basically what happens here, if this number is active, it will send a signal through here, which will go down into here, blocking off this repeater, which will go into the reset line. Now coming over here, we're going to place a torch on top of it, a block, a torch, a block, a torch, and a block and a torch. Then we're gonna go one, two, up, 
and bring it all the way down here to the final RS NOR latch and this is how we reset the system and we're going to go one boom repeaters going into each of the blocks bring the line over here don't be worried if you build it the same way I do this is exactly 15 redstone it meets it just perfectly and let's turn it here to the side and hit it the entire system should have just reset and this one is not active because we forgot a torch there we go next something you can do to speed up the system before we move on to the final stage uh, destroy each of the middle uh, blocks it's basically replacing it with redstone without using redstone blocks may be cheaper for you and I like the look of it next let's delete everything and grab some blocks alright I'm gonna keep the first one a one so I'm not gonna put any items in it the second one I'm going to make it into a two so I'm gonna drop 32 items into the dropper the next one I want to be a three so I'm gonna drop 64 and the last one I want to be a four so I'm gonna put uh, 96 I believe or a stack and a half so let's quickly make sure they all match up one should light up let's hit the button then first system drop down or no it didn't uh what I don't know what just happened that makes no sense at all all right let's try that again okay yeah my bad it did work okay let me reset that entire system that should be reset okay so here's the first one as you can see this one is being pushed down so the signal can't get through it goes in bam alright so the next one is a 2 and as you can see we hit it to 2 this one went dark which means the signal is going through just fine let's hit the button and that should have brought the next one up it did yes now we're gonna hit it to 3 as you can see the third one is lit up it might be a bit hard to see and boom we are good there and now let's set it to 4 which is our final one and before we do that let's uh, put a a line of blocks here lamps to be our identifier to make sure it actually works because how else will we know and let there be light that is how you build the system let me just get rid of all these uglies all right to go over the system how it works basically each one of these systems I'll use one of the middle ones they're nicer to look at each one of these white systems here basically is depending on where this is turned it will grab a signal from the different amount of items inside of these droppers none would be the default position uh, 32 64 96 124 128 and so on and so on uh, it kind of gets weird around five you happen to need more items I think so be warned but this play with it it's quite fun to do uh, then it takes a signal into the AND gate and that's why I have the confirmation because it will set this off and basically it will be enough time to have both of these um, shut off allowing this to go positive into the RS Norlats which will switch the signal into this guy right here uh, I only have it on this side as well to basically complete the RS Norlatch, but it it may not be needed, but I do it just in case. And I set it over here into this uh, line right here, which basically is the expansion line into the next system. And this can be go on and on and on and on. The dimensions are 
seven from here to there, nine from here to there, and four from here to there.